The Eurozone is also on the course to tame inflation without risk of recession and financial instability. Such challenges have manifested in the U.S., whose financial sector has had to sustain a shakeup with the banks such as Silicon Valley Bank and Signature collapsing. Alfred Kammer, the director of the European Department at the International Monetary Fund, says that core inflation is persistently high and there is nothing worse than posing a counterinflation fight prematurely. That we need to do, defeat inflation. And that uh, requires a concerted effort. It means uh, for central banks and for the Euro uh, European Central Bank, it means uh, further tightening is required. And when the terminal rate has been reached, that terminal rate needs to be maintained for longer because core inflation uh, is, very is high and is very persistent. And there's nothing worse than pausing an inflation fighting effort uh, too early or abandoning it too early because if you need to do it a second time, the costs to the economy are so much larger. The message to the ministers of finance is you need to support this disinflation effort by the central bank. Locally, the central bank is still committed to mopping away excessive liquidity by implementing the 5% medium target. Economic growth remains on um, a recovery path, averaging 6.8% in the first two quarters of the financial year 2022-23. stroke 23. And this was supported by a stronger recovery in services and agricultural output. However, the quarterly economic growth for quarter two of financial year 22-23 dropped to 4.4% from the 9.2% uh, recorded in the first quarter of financial year 2022-23 stroke 23, due to a decline in industrial output and a moderation in the services output growth. Moreover, growth in economic activity measured by high frequency indicators point to a moderation in the recent months. The Composite Index of Economic Activity, CIEA, grew by 0.9% in the three months to February 2023, which is lower than the 1.2% growth in the quarter ended uh, November 2022. Meanwhile, the post-pandemic recovery initiative at the backdrop of a weakened financial infrastructure has paved way to continuous external financing. East Africa's MF credit outstanding as of yesterday informs the current drive. Uganda expects 812.25 million in special drawing rights from the MF, Kenya 1.766 billion, 5,163.16 million for Tanzania, 222.2 million for Rwanda, Burundi at 58.9 million, and DRC at 1.14 billion.